sometimes I want to say something, but mm, okay. I don't know if I enjoy that. You know. At what for follow Facebook at what for channel on Twitter hashtag is why in the morning we are asking you what are the negative effects of staying at home during this pandemic. But it's about that time and Naniya met Kapa Kuniambia that uh, your mom is, is the first person who kind of teaches you how to deal with ladies. So I would like to give my mom a very big shout out because me and many like kupenda watu. Like akuna ja kuonea mwenzako wivu mneza saidiana tu. Yeah, now depend it too much because if you don't love yourself, then you are very, very, very likely to not like anyone else because you you want to be them. I don't know, but my mommy taught me to appreciate people and sana sana ladies. So let's put our hands together, class, for our strength of woman. no smile. It's okay. Take two. Aya, all right. <laughs> okay, we are friends in real life. This is why it's so easy, but <laughs> please introduce yourself and Oh, my name is Linda Brandt. Mm -hmm. Ama ukipenda na penda sana kuji introduce kama your number one online strategist. Sukuru. Yes. First of all, una kafiri sana. Asante sana. Wewe ukai covid kwa kweli. Usifanye ni ringe. Ringa. Hey. <laughs> Mimi wacha nikwambie tu let me just tell you the truth. Mm? Uh -huh. Mimi nimefanya two squats just 3 months. <laughs> it's like you don't even know who you are talking to. <laughs> even that time, I'm just to myself. Woo! Okay. What is an online strategist? What does that mean? Uh, online strategist basically means actually, ni, that's my tagline. No, na vile ma DJ wana kuanga na kitu kama DJ Nix the Spin Doctor. Hey. Now online strategist mm -hmm. is my tagline. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, it's my tagline because me na fanya job. Job zangu zote actually ni za online. Uh, I do online marketing. I do branding. I do managing. Now by managing, si manishangi watu wa wana misunderstand. Mm -hmm. So wa si manishangi managing. Like a person, a person a, artist, artist mm. eh, na manishanga managing social media accounts mm -hmm. or public figures mm -hmm. uh, because eh, iyo job ni ngumu zana kwa mtu wanaona mifika place ako busy ni 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 so social media kuna vile iko dead kiasi mm -hmm. so when I call myself an online strategist it, it's basically because eh, kazi yangu yote ni ya online so in a include eh, content creation eh, strategizing if you have an event unataka hizo strategies ni 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 zote ziko hapo ndani I have so many things to say but let's start with yani covid hata ija kusumbua because COVID has told us not to do things on the ground to define <laughs> online. But you've been yes. onlining for a while now. Yeah, I think nilikuwa uh, naangalia just the other day na sema ni kama mi atai quarantine. Ni kama ni mekuwa tu niki quarantine. Yani mungu akisha sema ni hivu tu ni hivu tu. Just like that. Just like that. Ah. Because, uh, of course, in one way or another, it may affect kidogo. Mm -hmm. But basically, job yangu sana ina kuanga online. So, Eh, si sana, ni jani affect ile sana. Mm -hmm. Kidogo tu. Mm -hmm. Kidogo tu. Okay, I, maybe let's start with Kenya Mina as I relate now. Mm -hmm. I am not very active on social media. Mm -hmm. I, I try, I can eh, hear yes, you. You are not, you are not. <laughs> I have noticed. Friend, neza post leo. Kwanza ni me post lini, Monday. The next time I think I'll post ni June. Birthday yangu. Mm -hmm. Niki jisikia, ziki ni ambia ni post. But it's again, it's it's not right because niko kwa tv na mm. majaribu connect na watu wangu yes. and, and as much as i really want to connect with you just here mm -hmm. see sema social media see important yes but pia mimi ni kichwa ngumu yeah, and that's where you come in as Lynn the brand exactly. so how how do you uh, this is a unique question how how do you make sure all your people are satisfied all the public figures you handle are satisfied because mimi vena napenda ku post maybe si venye mm. It's been Dr. Napenda post. Mm. You know, we're two different personalities mm. and, and we our frequencies are, might even differ a bit. So mm. how do you customize your services for everyone? Uh, first and foremost, basically, uh, what I usually do is to get to know that person, Ile Vizuri Kabza, and then uh, get to know what he or she really wants. Kuna ule mtu atakuwa approach na akwambie, just do your thing. Na ako sawa vile uta post hiyo ni it's up to you but kuna mtu atakuwa approach na atakwambia i know i'm lazy when it comes to social media but i want you to do it this way naweza taka content yangu ikae hivi ikae hivi so 
I do a lot of listening sana so I do listen to my clients sana because at the end of the day, at the end of the day nataka ku deliver kenye wanataka si kenye mimi nataka mm -hmm. so that really helps because uh, because uki wasikiza na ukisikiza kenye wanataka sana auta enda inje yeah what they really wanted then secondly of course client can approach i've never had a of uh ni wachache sana but clients wengi wanakuanga someone will approach me already on account ashawa i make some few posts for example sasa vile wewe uko lazy wewe but kuna some few posts kuna some few posts kwa your account so another thing that i usually do naenda ntaenda nta like i'll take my time ni go through the post nione vile amekuwa ki post like kuna watu tu wata post na wanaeka quotes kuna mtu there is a way mtu ana make posts zake so i'll go through those previous posts and from them pia bado itanisaidia ku understand huyu mtu vizuri ama vile anataka anga content yake ikai so that way hakuna mahali tutapitana na client and at the end of the day atakuwa satisfied kabisa na the mm -hmm. na job yango okay is there content okay let's just on instagram do you ndio na naona kwa kichwa ngo mhm do you have a say in the content they create for example ni kwambia len i want you to help me out with my brand mhm mm naenda photo shoot mm -hmm. utaniambia vai hivi na hivi na hivi not really you have because mm -hmm. uh, it's supposed to be you as in you're supposed to be yourself so i'm not supposed to tell you vile utava ama vile uta where you are just supposed to ukienda kama ni for example is a photo shoot so you are just supposed to send me the pictures the photos then i'll play around na yosa ku create content and, and the captions around the but si kazi yangu it's not in my place kukuambia vile ativa hivi ama va hivi what i can do ni kuku advise to ile kidogo maybe maybe kuna place nimeona as a brand kuna umeenda out of your way kidogo tu na inaweza affect your brand because hiyo bado ni area yangu uh, kusaidia in brand building brand pushing so naweza ona inaenda kidogo out of the way naweza tu ku advise but si ile like va hivi hizi ndio unafaa uvae no okay so in, in that same breath eh? mm -hmm. okay so nimeenda nikapiga pika picha and then is it something i surrender to you um, uh, you, you just have we have a mutual kind of curious like a cloud uh -huh. on a cloud if you so now you have access kazi yako ni kuchukua hizo picha are you the one who determines how frequently my posts are post posted erosongo sorry 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 tara ni chukune kwanza okay yeah so where where do you draw the line like where do you become the boss and say nani chill mimi ndio najua kile nafanya and then you actually have to listen to them so okay so unataka to post twice a day ama hivyo where do you put your foot down ah uh, kitu ya kwanza kuna insights kuna like uh, there's a way you can just go to an account and try to understand your audiences ama audiences wa my client so first and foremost posting uh, it usually depends na audiences wako. So ukienda kwa hizo insights for example utaona your audiences are most active during from this time to this time, from this time to this time. Ah uh, hiyo inakusaidia kujua if you will post twice mm. per day according na vile audiences wako wako. Mm -hmm. Whether tuseme for example kama wengi wana interact na posts zako during uh, from 9 am to around maybe 12 noon and then uh, from around uh, 6 pm to hizo matimes za jioni so hizo ndio zitasaidia sana kujua how many times you will post it's it's inakuanga tu kulingana na your audience so kuna ile nyota pata audience wa mtu wako active time moja peke yake maybe probably oni jioni peke yake so in that case it's a, it's advisable to post like once mm -hmm. but if your audiences are active to say me hata kama ni thrice per day it's advisable to post thrice so me I'll advise the client na nimuonyeshe mpaka like you know i just try to make the client understand mbona ninafanya hivi mbona na post twice per day mbona na post thrice per day if the client understands and he or she is fine na ku post for example like thrice per day then tunawi tuna songa nayo if the client ana feel hata kama hizi ni statics statistics umenionyesha but mimi na feel tunafaa ku post once per day again 
uh, my work is to make sure they are satisfied. So, see you as Bishani. So we will we will post you once per day. But in most cases, uh, we want to understand because they wanna do a in kaziako nand you seme to fanya evi there is a reason as to why you're saying to fanya evi to post twice to post thrice so me i'll just go with what you're saying yeah you actually know what you're doing i know what i'm doing my atunani pair goosebumps the facts that you're spitting here yeah i thought you were to post two what on a double tap come a song it's a whole uh, science yeah mm -hmm. yeah actually ni 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 for Instagram, kwa sababu watu wengi complain ya Instagram sana ni ngumu, ni difficult, watu hawa likingi post na nini. Kitu watu wa understand ni kuna hizo audiences. Watu wa wangalia, ngino jo mtu wana mkanga ulifungua account ya Instagram, so unajua watu wanafaa kupost. So mina post. So watu hawa angalia, like unangalia insights zako, unangalia time gani nafaa kupost, time gani sifai kupost, time gani nafaa kuinteract na watu, time gani sifai kuinteract na watu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love for now on a e game near trust. This is a trust game. Mm. Cause me, mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Yes. At the yes. password. Password who mo? Nasa pe password kan menda kan ime change kwam kwajia. Have you ever had someone challenge your integrity? Ah, uh, challenge in what? Yes, yes. Akuje aseme no, Lin. I feel like umefanya hivi just because you have the, the password to my account or something like that. Now I visuri unajo ujafanya. Mm. That's the worst thing about being blamed for something yeah. you haven't done. Yeah. Mm. Now, honestly, honestly, honestly speaking, I have never, never, never had a uh, one experience come here with my clients. Reason being, I did not just wake up Nikanza e story. So, like, I, I took one full year ya kujibuild. Wow. Ku understand, eh, ku build brand yangu, ku understand job yangu inafaika yaje, hizo zote. So I took a whole year, wow. a whole year ya kujibuild. So I didn't just wake up, nikasema sasa leo naanza story ya online. Mm. Na hapo kwa kujibuild ndo kuliko nyezo vitu zote, understanding your clients, understanding what your clients would want from you, hizo uh, vitu zote zilikuwa hapo ndani kwa kujibuild. So when it, hapo uh, ndani katikati ya kujibuild, I even, um, took some job this is a pro bono so nilikuwa tuna try nione how i can deliver nini nini so the moment i started doing it like now officially as as my career sasa uh one thing yenye imenisaidia yenye imefanya sijakuwa na experience kama hiyo ni ile fear you know me na kuanga na fear ile fear ya ya if i miss one client by the, my job yangu iko hivyo 99.9% ya clients wenye nimepata referrals Wow, that's the best kind. Yes. Uh-huh. Ni referrals kabisa. So, I can rarely count zenye ni me pitch. Mm. Personally, ni kenda tiku approach mtu ati, unipe job. Mingi ni referrals. And uh, ni hivo, because I usually have ile fear, if I mess one client, then ni me mess like 10, wenye wange kuja hapo badai. Wow. So, I usually try so hard to make sure, because as you have said, in game na trust, mm. in his story to na trust. So utapata client na ku approach but ako like sasa unajua DM yangu vili na kuanga sasa tutafanya haji. Sasa unajua. Kwa wastana. <laughs> woi, woi, woi. Hehe, <laughs> woi. <laughs> sasa, are you sure? Can you assure me that hakuna kitu italik ni nini ivo? Mm. And uh, na kuanga na ile fear ya kuwa mess kabisa. So I usually try my best to make sure I treat those accounts like my babies. Mm. So, na make to sure client hata kuwa na like complain yoyote. And imeni idea in a way that watu uni refer ile jia. If you give lean your account, you can be rest assured. Hata kama kuna nini, mm. aitawa ili. So, nyi mpatie ni tu. Niko karibu kupatia yangu. Vaya tu naonge hapa una ni convince. <laughs> I didn't even have that plan. Kianza hii interview wana sasa. <laughs> So, so, what's your plan? Ah, I'm going to pick up my mate. Okay. Me on a candle. Me on a candle. I'll see you in your office. <laughs> okay. What is your version of a difficult client? For example, come in a waiter. Mm hmm I love who maybe client and I should not be sumbwa sumbwa. I'm peleke a magi or glass ni chafu or magi is you see warm when you're looking at as in random things. Mm -hmm. what, what does a difficult client look for you? <clears throat> a difficult client. Ni client you have agreed like 
Musha, you had a meeting and all that. Now we explain kila kitu and you have agreed kusu content, nini content creation and everything. But uki uki post amu kifanya nini? They still want to teach you kazi yako. You get. <laughs> Mhm. Ana kwambia hii post sijui ilikuwa ikae hivi ilikuwa sijui kae aje. Toa sijui weka post inakaa hivi. Edit sijui caption fanya hivi. Yeah, so like e yeah, ana feel ni sawa alikupatia account but mm. eh, bado ana feel ni anafaa kukufundisha job unafaa kufanya. Wewe <laughs> understand kazi yako ni mimi nafaa kukufunza. <laughs> Edisha choka. <laughs> <laughs> no, kasirika kweli mom, when you, you yeah, have such a soft, soft it. Ama ukilipuka ni hivo. You know, sometimes, sure is, we don't even understand ourselves, what are each other. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, do, have you ever gotten upset to the client while kawambia cheki, nani father, si utembe tu kubwa kubwa, isonge mbele kama njili? Aki Oh, what mm -hmm. happened now? Ya hey, nishawai. Walikuwa msana? Ya hey, nikuwa msana. Oh. Walikuwa, alikuwa, eh very stubborn unajua me one thing yenye sipendi ni kufundishwa kazi yangu uh, there is a difference between kuni advice like uh, there is a way hapo ungefanya hivi na hivi there is a difference between that na kunifunza kunionyesha vile sijui kenye nilikuwa nafanya hapo nikifanya hivyo yet you so, have been referred by someone who is yes. very happy with your work yes exactly <laughs> but unataka kunionyesha vile si understand kitu sijaelewa kitu hapo wow. ni wewe uko, uko right so ikifika hapo mimi nasikia ngatu wenyewe hapa niko mwisho and if i can't satisfy you then you are free to just go utafute mtu mtu mwingine mwenye takufanyia job ndio unataka ah, ku bless manze mm. uweze shindo kivutana na mtu mtawa unaweza hata zae karaka we are not trying to do that no 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 mm. all right now i have so many questions una ni bamba manze na sikia kat ko story see interview i'm feeling very very excited about this okay mm -hmm. what were you doing actually before online marketing and branding ah uh, before online marketing eh me hustle <laughs> Nilikuwa, hmm. I was working as uh, kwa supermarket ndita moja ama ni katha. I was working as a merchandiser. I don't know if you know. Merchandisers ni wale, wale madem unaingia kwa super sai. Unaingia, unapewa outlets. For example, five outlets. So, unapewa outlets. Ziko along Gong Road, zingine ziko along Mbasa Road, Evo. So, unaingia, you are working with a certain company. For example, you are working with a... Uh, what? How do you pay a promo? This is just for example, thanks, employer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, for example, you're just working with a certain company. And, um, una, una, tuseme, job yangu ni ya, eh, ni meandikuwa na val kushubulikia nguo zake zina kwanka kwa supermarkets flani. So my work is to go kwa hizo outlets, oh, kutoa hizo mm. products, mm. kupanguza nini, kujaza, kujaza kama watu wamenunua nunua so, na jaza shelf, na toka, naenda kwa another outlet. Mm. So that was my work. E, nilikuwa na mka, naenda kwa supermarkets katha, 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 hivo, jioni, na rudi home. Yeah. I have so much respect for you right now. Kasi COVID nilikuwa nisha kuhag. Nge kusha ni hag. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Ili fika point gani uka sema, okay, I want to try something else. I want to try something different. Because, you know, mtu waneza ogopa. Mm. Sometimes where you are can be very comfortable. Mm -hmm. But unasikia, unaito na kitu ingine, but unogopa kutoka hapo because you don't know mm. what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. and, and from what you were doing is very physical mm. to something now that solely is online. Yeah. Yeah. How did you... First of all, ulijua aje unataka kuvuka na ulitua nguvu. Where did you get the courage from? Uh, first of all, my case was a little bit different because there was no happiness na back then at nkifanya hiyo job and all that. Siku kwa na feel satisfied. Nilikuwa tu na feel kuna void. Flani, there is something that I'm not doing. Nilikuwa tu na feel this is not purpose yangu wa iko hapa. So nilikuwa na feel tu nafaa kufanya kitu but I wasn't sure ni nini nafaa kufanya. Uh, but nilikuwa napenda two stories online hivyo tu as in nilikuwa napenda hiyo time hizo time hata siko na just stories za Twitter ama Instagram it was just Facebook so i was very active on Facebook mm -hmm. very very active so nilikuwa ngatu na post nafanya tu as in yani nilikuwa tu active then uh, at some point i i realized hii ni nini kuna I went to a certain event. I was invited by a friend. Mm -hmm. Then someone 
someone I can mention to Ilea, I've been seeing a friend I've been introduced, for example, to an another event, and then you introduce me to someone, hey, hi, this is my friend, uh, she's called uh, Linda Brand. Now, you Kitambo, you at that particular time, matter actually, by the way, Siko na ito Linda Brand. Mm -hmm. Ata Facebook, ni kwa na jita majina za kitambulisho. <laughs> za serkal. <laughs> Dogo andike sublocation. <laughs> majina za serkal. Uh, so, that friend of mine just introduced me. Akasema, akambia uyo, the person that she was introducing me to. Uh, this is uh, Linda, Chinangu ni Linda, and uh, she's a friend of mine. In, and that person was like, hey, I've been seeing what she's been doing on Facebook. Me, I'm like, me, I've not, kwa nini mekua nikifanya nini, because me, nimekua tu nikifanya ili ya. Kuji, bamba, tu nikua tu napenda stories online. So I've been seeing what she's been doing on Facebook, alafu, akani uliza. Do you know that you can actually earn from what you've been doing? So mi si kuwa naelewa na kuan from, si nime kuwa tu niki post Facebook, sa mtu wana anaji from Izo. And uh, this person challenged me, I can you leave that, are you on Twitter? Mi si understand that Twitter ni nini your time? Ni kamuangali le, no. I can embia, uh, just do your research, ujue Twitter in a kaji and then download the app. So download Twitter, at that particular time I can uh, Twitter ilikuwa like jobs at Twitter ndio zilikuwa mob sana. That's why I think I'll go on and refer to Twitter sana at Akushinde Instagram. So can I be just download that app and then uh, try to agree. She'll give you 100 followers. Look for me. Look for me. I saw Nika quite interested, Nika quite too curious. Sasa na shindua, alisema mtu wanaeza haji ya na hapa. Nika enda Google. And I made Google my best friend. So Nika search Twitter, Nika anza kuangalia Twitter, Igo inawaka haji nini, Nika download app. Si understand kitiote at that time. Nika jaribu tu, tu na Google, with the help of Google, nika do at least ule Twitter in a work. E, nika anza tu kuwak through e, kutafta followers. Nini, nini. By the time I was reaching out to him, nilikuwa na 300 Look followers at you. instead of 100. Hey. Under, <laughs> under promising and over producing. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he was impressed. Aka, hey. Nini kumbia 100 ume kunja na 300. So, this is how this thing works. So, akanza kama kuni educate nini ivo. And then, akanipea, akanipea job kidogo tu. Akanieka kwa iyo time kuna vitu tunaitanga eh, trend tags. So, they, for example, a client once, anataka, unataka ni kutrendishi ya wewe kama value trend kwa pale kwa trending topics nini nini. So, alikuwa nafanya hizo sana, alikuwa na clients wengi wa hizo job. So, akanieka kwa as part of his team. Akanembia, eh, ntakupia job ya kwanza, tuone vile uta, uta perform. Mm. So, kazi likuwa kutweet tu, kutweet na hashtag, kutweet na hashtag. Surprisingly enough, after hiyo, the job was done, me, with my 300 followers, eh, ndio nilikuwa na tweets mingi kushinda the rest of the people when yalikuwa kwa hiyo team. So, so <laughs> shawari. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. So, the guy was impressed. Akanembia, nikendele hivyo, sujui, sasa, i, I can actually make it a job yangu. At that time, nikifanya hizo, bado niko ile job yangu ya super. Wow. So, nikanza kuona, eh, hey, kitu inakaa ni serious nini. So, I started falling in love to na story online hivyo sasa. And sasa, Twitter ndi ikakuata my best friend wow. atakushinda apps hizo zingine zote. Mm -hmm. So, ikafika point, mpaka nika quit. So, job. Mm -hmm. Ku quit job and my mom was like... <laughs> Kama umezuma, unatuka kuimba. <laughs> Okay. Unaenda online, iyo ni nini kwa ni nafanyo online, iyo ni kazi gani, kama maisha Nairobi yu kushinda rudi home. Oi. <laughs> but I understand our parents worry. Yeah. But look at you now. Look at me now. Mm. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you, one for telling us honestly about your journey. I want to thank you for telling us kuna tema ta yu kuna jua. Because mm. out, pip, nisikize. Akuna mtu asheza liwa kijua kila kitu. Yeah. Ata mi kwa presenter, there was a time, in my head ni kwa najua kina taka kufanya, but kuitoa manze, mm -hmm. I, I, it was very, very hard for me. Yeah. So thank you so very much, Lynn. Well, Na maybe, tukimalize, I think, this is my last question, promise. Mm -hmm. um, na, mm -hmm. I will let me phrase it as, as properly as I can. Mm -hmm. Kenya venye tuko, mm -hmm. 
tunachezanga sijui game gani because now covid 19 sasa hii tunacheza ka male and female mm -hmm. eh, na age bracket na location uh -huh. when the politicians begin to descend upon us and that time is coming guys it's almost here tutaanza sasa kuji identify na kabila but mm. your brand how is it that you you make sure yani hakuna makasiriko kama hizo mm -hmm. mm. how how do you do so well in that particular line because one wrong post one wrong yeah. thing na a whole community inaweza tu kukasirikia makasiriko hata ziko na hata huko hapo maybe upset at my ancestors i have nothing to do with it okay so how do you do that uh fast Uh, I'm one person mwenye nakonga against these stories za makabila sana. Mm -hmm. So I try, I really try, I really try my best to make sure sitafika hapo, mm -hmm. sitafika hiyo point. So um, whenever I'm posting something na kuanga tu cautious. Let's let's just say that na kuanga tu alert 24/7 to mind yangu na kuanga alert na kuanga cautious sana nisifanye kitu. Mm. Yenye itanini. Okay and then Kishanko. tell us again how to find you on social media so that to, because this story ni kai taki kuisha and pijo Mr Kishe but mm -hmm. just tell us where you can find your social media to ingie ku office yako please yeah ku office yangu my office number one is uh, a baby that i gave birth to this year uh, on march mm -hmm. and uh, i have an agency a pr and marketing agency Look at you. it's called Foley mm -hmm. PR and marketing wow so pale social media pale instagram at Foley dot agency tani pata hapo <laughs> and and uh, my social media handles at lean the brand lean is l y w n e the brand across all social media platforms then at folly dot agency on instagram and uh, folly pr and marketing on facebook she has another client a night of all <laughs> Yeah, thank you so very much for watching over in the morning. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We have to go but <coughs> at Whitefire on Facebook at Whitefire for channel on Twitter hashtag is why in the morning. My country people, I miss you so much. I can't wait for COVID-19 to be over and done with. But in the meantime, eh tukutani yote nyingine sawa. Yeah, we are done now. Thank you. But ukai kai Whitefire for there's a lot of wonderful things around here, okay? See you. Have a good day.